retail uh, management. Um, this is about the time uh, if you're going to do any kind of transplanting of uh, honeysuckle, you use this um, forage. It's also great for uh, bedding and um, harboring areas where you know, deer can uh, hide out and stay on your property, especially if you don't have a lot of land to work with. Um, and as far as the budget goes, you know, for um, putting food, having late season food on your property, it's excellent. What, what you need to do is um, to keep from having to go out and actually purchase honeysuckle, Here, even on this plant, um, you can start to see new growth. When you start seeing that on some of your vines, if you'll cut off um, I don't know, I usually take off about 10 inches. You don't have to even take that much. There needs to be at least um, a couple of sets of double leaves on the end. Take those cut shoots and put them in water and if you need to take them in the house put them in a window. Uh, if it's still uh, frosty temperatures you're going to wait till after the last frost before you plant them. They're going to develop some uh, fibrous roots on the bottom. You'll see them hanging down when you pick them up out of the water. They'll be ready to plant. If you've got some soil to put them in, they need to be in sunshine. If you can keep them in full sun, you're going to get a lot of uh, a use out of them. If it's a place you're not going to go ahead and plant, they are invasive plants, but they're real, uh, they're drought tolerant, and it's really hard to kill it um, other than shade. Shade's like the what will end up uh, destroying it. Um, even right here, as close as I am, this is actually behind my house. Um, I've let all this honeysuckle go and deer come in here and bed and they browse on it even though I have some food plots and we have acorns here uh, late in the season and this time of year they're in here picking and I'm you know less than 50 yards from my back door so it just shows uh, and it doesn't cost anything I come back in here and fertilize it I'll be doing that um, late in the spring and then you'll have a good yield for the fall and the winter. Just uh, something to think about. Freebie, it takes a little work, but uh, it pays off. You've got a place that, uh, you know, you, you've got some open ground that you know you're not going to get in there and try to plant with a food plot. And uh, you, you might possibly want to hunt the edges of it, but you're going to stay out of it. Keep, let the deer take that and create a home range for themselves, a place to bed down, a sanctuary if you will.